Hello everybody and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. So we're starting on a new map and as you can see there is nothing on it. It's blank. No towns, no industries <laughs> um, and I'm going sandbox. Yes. Now <laughs> I've been mucking around with the map already as you can see down here we've, I've spent two billion. <laughs> um, I carved out another river. This is an auto-generated map um, that I opened in Map Editor. Uh, I generated in Map Editor. Now, I carved out a river to go through there just to give me a bit more river connection. Um, and as you can see, there was a river going up there which I've, I've filled in. Um, so, no prizes for guessing what I have intention for here. <laughs> Obviously, a port. Um, I'm going to attempt to do something I couldn't do in Transport Fever 1 and that's build a big network and big city. Now frame rate is the question. Can I do it? Um, I just looked up at the frame rate and I'm getting 30 frames a second. I wonder why that is. Oh no, there it goes, 50. <laughs> it just suddenly slowed down. I think it's just because I'm moving around the map, it's just loading textures in. I've only just loaded it up. So, uh, yes, plans. So, I'm going to try and build a big city using the magic of mods. We have... Well, I've got all sorts, where are we? We've got mods. Now, if I go through here, I can, I've got menus here, but I'll just go through them quickly first. A uh, couple of water towers from JK's set. I'm looking forward to he does the GWR stuff so I'm looking forward to his, his coming out. We have got the left hand signals, yes. Um, so I've got buses, I've got residential building assets. Now these don't actually have any people in them so we can maybe build up some of the town centre some of the city centre using these uh, and you can have collision free or collision ones that will stop the AI from building on them as well. I've also got some modded roads which the AI can't build on. We'll go have a look at them in a bit. So I've got planes, trucks, cars, um, got various bits of street things, um, got some, some of these buildings we can do residential high blocks. A lot of the stuff I've got is kind of very European looking. Um, so it is going to have a, a very European feel to it, which is fine. That's okay. I do like European style buildings. Um, nothing wrong with that. It's just I would like personally um, a lot of like northern industrial Victorian style mills and things like that. That that sort of thing appeals to me a little bit more. Um, I don't know, not to everybody, but um, oh yeah, actually, there's a reason I could have more mods than this because I'm in sandbox mode. I can go. Let's go 1965. <laughs> um, right, so there'll be more assets in here now. Um, so yeah, we've got buildings, got various things, we've got walls, you can build, that's a very small wall, it's a fence, little fence thing, some bigger ones in here though. Um, you can lend, these snap to the tracks as well, which is very handy. Um, there are some odd bits and pieces, some really tiny bits, but we've got, <laughs> got a bit of a, whatever that is meant to be. <laughs> a Viking. <laughs> okay. Um, it's part of this. The beast. The beast is back. <laughs> so I may or may not use that. I probably will. I'll probably use some of it. Uh, there's bits and pieces that are coming. Uh, got people asset, but that's only giving me one person at the moment. So there's no variety on that. Um, but we've got some cranes. We've got some sort of scaffolding. Get different heights and stuff. Um, transport. F oh, that's the logo. Transport Fever logo. It's quite small. Nine times. There you go. Um, so there's more stuff planned coming soon. There are some buildings in these. Ooh, that's a rather fancy building. That's a. Uh, 
square <laughs> with a roof on it. That's an unfinished one, obviously. Um, yeah, some interesting looking buildings. Now that's quite nice. I'm not so keen on this. I, I, I don't like this green texture. It's. I'm pretty sure he's the same guy that's done the uh, Rhodes one as well. We're going to have a look at that in a bit. Um, now then, a beta version of a couple of stations here, but we can't have curved stations, so I don't know how this is going to work. Um, unless you was maybe to stick a couple of station platforms in the middle and then draw the tracks out yourself. I'm not sure that's going to be a tricky one. Um, same here. I'm hoping these are going to be usable stations. I presume they are going to be. Um, because I don't fancy having to try and line up the tracks, platforms. I don't know how you do that. Unless you just whack it on top of... Uh, top of a station or something. Got a few industrial buildings. We've got some churches. These are nice. Um... The walls asset, fences and stuff. Got train assets. Uh, we've only got locos at the moment. He's just released steam locos, which we've got all here. Um, we've got diesel and electric locos. I haven't got the electric one on though. Um, I'm waiting for the carriages for them. I have got the uh, fake uh, loco, so I can pull carriages out and onto sidings if I want. Um, so these are the. These are the ones that are got a very sort of European feel to them. <laughs> that reminds me of some of the cities around Europe. They're lovely, they're nice buildings. I'll definitely be using them. Um, coming next week. Cool. Got more. So, yeah. Nice fancy buildings. We'll be making the place up with some of these. That's old. That's nice. So, oh, and yeah, we've got plants and things as well. Uh, grass, wheat, flowers, tulips, different coloured ones. Do a bit of decorating. We've got some bikes, motorbikes. What are you, your, an oil station? I don't know what that means, a gas station, petrol station. And there's a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of issue with some of the mods at the moment. As, as you can see, that's... We'll try to build it under the grass. It should be. I don't think there's a, any auto leveling going on. No. Um. So yeah, it is early days. Game's only just come out, so I expect there to be a few issues. I've got the forester. However, I'm not so keen on it. Uh, the trees are different than these trees. They just. They're smaller and darker and they just don't look the same. I think they're the textures from Transport Fever 1. Um, so that needs updating. Um, so yeah, roads wise, I've got all sorts of things in here. Now, even though these have got a circle on, they do allow traffic to come down them. We don't have use of a footpath yet. Um, Pretty sure though, if you use bus lanes and tram tracks, you can send trams down here, but I'm fairly certain traffic goes down them. I know on the bigger roads they will dedicate a, a bus lane, but on the two way roads I'm pretty sure they don't. Um, it's got one way streets, got roundabouts and things as well. Um, these are the no build ones, so wherever you place these down, the AI won't build next to them. However, when you place a town down, if you're in um, sandbox mode like this, when we go into the town placement, if you place a town down, they, they, will, or they will generate the buildings on those roads. I've been testing it, tried it. Um, so we can place industries, we've got everything else. Anything else I need to show you? I think, I think we're good. Oh yeah, we've got loads of harbour assets. Uh, big buildings and cranes and things. So yeah, we're going to build a build a big port here <laughs> uh, go a bit mad with it <laughs> especially as more and more stuff comes out I mean to begin with I got plans on you know it's gonna take me quite a while to get a lot of stuff done but it should be a lot faster than 
well, a lot more sort of capable and of doing such a thing than Transport Fever 1 was. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Let's let's start by allocating where we're going to start, <laughs> which is the, the main town, main city centre station. I think we'll have 240 meter. So I'm planning big city here. Big docks and industrial area over here, trains coming in and out, sidings and stuff. Um, now what we're going to do is put all the factories and stuff up here. Um, and have them joined up with trucks and things, make them all part of a big sort of port complex with a train station in the middle of it. And then bring all the raw materials by boat up from various areas around here. So we'll have like one dedicated to quarries and brick producing, one dedicated to maybe farms or something around on this one or something, um, ship it up, get it to a food producer and then bring it back down along the line. And what I'm going to do is as I place the towns, I'm going to decorate up quite large areas and place the towns in sort of in and around the stations but keep them quite small so that way we've got pedestrians on the actual train station. Um, and we've got a bit of traffic on the road. The, I mean, the easiest way to make a big city is to crank that up and go click, 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 click. Uh, wait ten minutes <laughs> um, as your frame rate drops to one, and watch all the sort of towns build up. I, I did it, and I, I, I clicked absolutely loads of them in a massive area down the side of a river. And it did trash the frame rate. There was there was fifty odd of them I think. I can't remember how many. Um but it does cause severe problems with the traffic and everything else. So building a train line and then just going spamming towns around it, it is gonna cause me problems even if I even if I sort all the roads out first. So what I was thinking of doing is just having a few towns kind of cheating it a little bit. Were we totally cheating it from I'm not playing it. I'm not playing it as, as as this time around. I'm not playing it from like normal, like vanilla, like you would. Um, like I said, I'm going pure sandbox mode because I want to. I want to try and make something big <laughs> and impressive. Um, so let's start. Let's start marking out where we're gonna where we're gonna start building around and we're gonna want a big station in the middle here um, how many tracks do I need on oh, maybe eight we're gonna have one main line that goes sort of open through here through the industrial sort of city area uh, over a bridge over here down and around and comes all the way around so we can have one big sort of loop of the, of the map but I was thinking of putting some commuter routes in as well um, maybe having a line running down along the river Let's see see how many I, I, I don't know how many I'm going to be able to get in before the frame rate, the frame rate starts to tank there's only one way to find out <laughs> and that's to build it right so I want to raise this To can somewhere in the middle ish. Um, I think it may be up about here, would be a good spot. Um, maybe not raise it too much. Now then, I have got a mod for track speeds which I will put on and I am going to use later however if you delete them it crashes the game so you have to upgrade them back to standard tracks before you delete them so if I go on if I plan everything out first um, and then when we're ready to start getting some trains running as long as I know everything's fine and staying where it is I'll go and put the mod on and then start upgrading the tracks so that we've got I want to create sort of slowing down coming into the stations so the trains gradually get slower and slower and then pull in at a normal speed rather than the the normal rush right up to the station I know it's less efficient but um, like I said we're playing sandbox so the money's money's not not an issue at all right now we're going to need a number of crossing tracks coming out of here 
probably on both sides. Um, we need access to depots. You might hear me groan every now and again. I've just had my operation on my knee, um, which went well, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, it went fine. I'm all good. Just a little bit sore, but uh, yeah, no, I'm fine. Anyway, I'm building tracks. <laughs> right, I, I don't want you to snap, but I want to go straight. Don't then. <laughs> Up to there. You can hit shift, obviously, to stop it from snapping, but what that also does is stops it from going straight. So you will get sort of slightly bendy tracks and they won't be perfectly aligned. Um, Just makes it's just messy. Right, I don't know if these are going this far out of this hit here yet, but um <laughs> I was thinking having a corridor of a number of tracks going up through there. Um it's gonna have this sort of slightly lowered down gonna get much lower because we're right at the water level pretty much um, so what I did want to do is just get a bridge under here and um, definitely want no build on let's go with uh, a bit large street Too close as well. Let's um, pull it back a bit. It might be low enough. Show sure it at level. I just want to see where I want to take this to. Let me just pull it back. You got Wendy on me again. There we go. I'll try to get it reasonably evenly spaced out. We've got floating. Bridgens, though, that's the only thing. Um, I was thinking maybe actually I'll take that roll back just a little bit further. Is that enough to? and avoid those floating bridge ends because they just look awful. Put that girder bridge on, I don't like it. 
<laughs> it's too too shiny white. No, not for me at all. I'm going to put this on. Now the other thing is connecting up to the ends of these um, can be a little bit problematic. Have I got my auto save on? Now there's a good question. I can't say I've noticed. <laughs> um, I am going to go and check. Back in a second. Now then, right. <laughs> it was turned on. We were all right. Um, it was set to every ten minutes, though, so I've set it to every five minutes because <laughs> yes, I'm likely to break it. Some of the mods are likely to break it as well. Did I put catenary on this? No, I didn't. Okay, just checking. Right. <laughs> Hopefully now, with that bit of land there, we should encourage us to... There we go. Now, if I had track ballast, I'd probably go and fill these middle bits in, but just having a random bit of track... I don't... Is that snapped? Looks a bit odd here. Um, yeah, I don't just want a random bit of track in there. You're going to fight me now? No. these lined up. Let's auto save. Hello. <laughs> um, I thought we had a floating station then. We haven't. <laughs> it's all right. Now then, eh, do I want passenger side? I'm just wondering whether I want actual passenger. Yeah, I think so. Passenger entrance on this side as well. Um, let's get some. Yes, yeah, so I'm using the scroll wheel. <laughs> Stop it. Back this up a bit. Now you see why I'm in sandbox mode. <laughs> there we go, a million, nearly. Yeah, this is why I want to play in sandbox mode because I'm just going to spend absolute fortune, two billion already, just messing around on this map. Except more, that was doing the rivers. I just want to take this up here a little bit. This out here a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and I was thinking we could have a road there as well. Um, now, let's configure the building. Those tracks got a catenary on. No, okay. Um, passenger buildings. I was thinking maybe, maybe do sort of two entrances on this side and one on this side. Um, car park in the middle or something. I've got some I've got car assets. Right, that's um line it up with the end of that station roof there, platform roof. <clears throat> and we can maybe have a maybe do a car park in the middle there or something. Now I haven't got all the assets I, I need or want <laughs> right now, but um, they're coming out thick and fast. So as we move along with this, we'll uh, I'll be adding more and more. So I'm going to be leaving leaving areas for specific purposes. Um, now then, I want which these highway highway a highway. Um, are you? Tram. Ah, no. Just 
just all normal roads which can have a tram. Uh, let's get Large Street. Um, the AI building on this. Closer. Go straight across here like this. Maybe just do with a bit more of that land coming up there. Let's get, let's give us a not quite that much. Just move that bit out. Over there for now. Yeah, that looks all right. Drag him out of there a little bit. Straight. Yeah. Probably going to put a tram track on there or something. Uh, right now then. Do it the same here somewhere. Definitely do with some something on that side. Um So now this is the main passenger station. We're gonna need some good stations in and I'm gonna have some dual purpose stations as well, so some will be passenger and goods. Um, <clears throat> so what the plan was basically is when I'm putting the towns in you can select which ones they want. So if I do a series of them uh, maybe either wanting one good each uh, or two goods each but uh, different ones at each one that way we can run a mixed consist train and it'll drop off each of the necessary goods on the way down. Well, that was the idea anyway. <laughs> um, let's think about getting another road under here. Um, go through this bit. It's a bit more than necessary there. Right, so down to where's my wireframe <laughs> need a wireframe so I can build straight whoa ding. sorry oh <laughs> me uh all right all right calm down sorry what sorry one second blinking they gave me a, a stick a walking stick a crutch <coughs> and it just fell over and my dog one of my dogs really doesn't like it <laughs> come here uh, yeah sorry about that total distraction um yeah one of my dogs really really does he does not like it at all you know he he likes sticks wooden sticks and playing with them in the garden and stuff but um yeah, he has a he has a problem with walking sticks for some reason. Right, let's just tidy it and sort of smooth this out a little bit, get a bit of a decent bridge on here again. Um train please, track. Neat bridges. Put 
pretty little bridges all in a row. There we go. Okay, so let's um, get a bit more of this land coming up across here. Obviously, I'm going to work on this and make it all better and decorate it up with the uh, with the tools as well, with the um, textures. Was that that wasn't quite straight? I don't think. Or was it? Might have been. <laughs> kind of clicked a little bit too quickly. Make sure it's on the flat anyway. Right. It's going to need something similar on this side. Let's, um, let's get this land out of here. Does anybody know what the shortcut is for the strength? I can do. I can do the rotation. That's the little left and right arrow keys. Or oh, you can do it like that with the left and right and up and down arrow keys. Um, I did find brush size. Oh, that's that's N and M brush size. No, Peace Bulldozer. Um, right, what we were doing, landscaping, that was what I was looking at. The strength, is there a... Ah, page up and page down goes from full strength to zero. <laughs> okay, that might come in handy. Let's, um, don't need it full strength, it's powerful anyway, this. It does wreck things as well if you're not careful with it, especially ports. Good old Colonel Fail, you demonstrated quite um, <laughs> quite funnily. Boats going through land. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously. I mean, one, it's early days. It's 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 a new release. There is still going to be issues that need to be ironed out. Um, there are the odd bugs here and there. I have found a few. Uh, um, they will get worked on though. The developers are good. Um, I do tend to listen to the community quite well. Uh, been pretty well responsive. Responded to me when I've contacted them. Um, even gave me a key. <laughs> gave me a press key as well. I was chuffed to bits with that. <laughs> got, to, got to have a bash of the game first. That's why I was a little bit haphazard and just slapping things in here, there and everywhere. I just wanted to I just wanted to build as, as much as whatever. Just till the game was out and then I really start to really start to explore the options with it now. I wanna wanna see just what we can we can achieve that probably wasn't possible in Transport Fever One. Um more than likely well definitely wasn't, not with my computer anyway. Yes, if you got, you know, a big powerful i9-9900 with, you know, loads of RAM and everything, you can, like Grand T does that 600 town Midlands map, which is phenomenal, but, um, <laughs> no chance, not with my computer, fans would be going that much, they'd be, they'd be taking off. Right, so, we have a couple of underpasses. I haven't planned any of this out. This is just, I'm just kind of making it up as we go along here. Um, we're going to need a depot in, so a couple of depots maybe. Um, we're definitely going to need facing either way. I'm going to be running loops. Um, Thinking whether I want to think about the depot now, or let's think about where we're going with these tracks. Um, one of these, one of these tracks is going to be 
a commuter platform. Now then, something I've thought about actually. I was thinking I can make these shorter. If we're going to have a commuter service, I want a shorter platform. I was wondering if. I was wondering whether they've got underpasses in the have. Um, I was wondering if I could actually split the platforms. I'm going to try to get a little bit too complicated there. The only thing with these is these, these are double sided platforms as well. If you want better um, station capacity, you can put two platforms in between your tracks. You have one for each side then won't get as crowded but uh, this is not going to get crowded anyway it's not going to be I'm not going to have loads and loads and loads of towns on here a lot of the buildings we're going to build are going to just be scenery buildings so fake basically now then what was I thinking here okay um, maybe if we have a we have a road running along here further back because I want this to be a, a like high street type road now I do need to come down off here um, what I'm thinking here is I'm, I might do a park in the middle of something he's still using no build roads here Yeah, it's going to spawn on them anyway, unless I put actually put anything there. Um, yeah, when I place the, if I actually place a town around here, it will spawn on all the edges of them. So let's, let's just get these hooked up. That's not bad actually, that was pretty, that was pretty good. <laughs> Did we get traffic lights already as well? Um, just want to make that a little bit, a little bit less steep maybe. I'll tell you what this game does, it, it, the, the improvements in this game are once you actually get into playing it and start feeling it, and I know a lot of you, a lot of you have like this. Why I didn't record anything for a few days? I thought, I thought I'd all just let you play the game and get on with it. <laughs> um, I, th I have had a bit of a break as well because I've been I've been making mods for workers and resources. I do want to make mods for Transport Fever. That has been an ambition of mine for quite some time. However, it is quite a lot more complicated. Um, and I need to need to do a bit more learning, <laughs> but eventually, eventually, um, 
for now though, I'm just I'm enjoying making mods for workers and resources. It's quite good fun. Um, and I'm getting to learn how to use Blender quite well. See, that's me praising the game about it, doing nice things, and it's going doing. <laughs> it's making these hideous bumps. Just to. No. Come on, give me something nice. I did on the other side. Do I need to be a little bit further back? I think so, maybe, yeah. Sorry. Getting a bit frantic with the camera there. Just can't seem to get. Nice enough curve off that. I know it is a very minor detail, but um Don't annoy me. That's better. A bit more smooth. Um <laughs> Smoothing around here. Now, um, I was thinking maybe um, assets. I'm not sure where stuff is though. <laughs> um, Trees, where the where's the churches? There we go. I was thinking maybe a nice church in here. Um, cathedral one. This is very nice. I don't understand why the crane is glowing so <laughs> so much. Why? <laughs> Why do we have a neon crane on a cathedral? It just... I, I, I don't understand that. Is that a mistake? Hopefully. <laughs> it just seems a little bit bizarre. Um, let's knock this back a little bit. I don't know whether I want this really, I think it's the biggest one I've got at the moment though. Um Where's the door? The doors are all bricked up. <laughs> we haven't got any footpaths yet anyway, so um Let's just let me just stick this in here for a minute because I wanna I wanna have a gauge of what it looks like from a distance. It's kind of hmm. not too keen on that. Not there anyway. It doesn't, it doesn't feel right. Um I think maybe actually now that I've lowered it a bit, let's take it back up a bit and pull the church up. Use a smaller church, but keep it up on the high a bit. Pop it in around here. Can I make <laughs> now that's going down too far? No, oh. <laughs> thought it was 
was lower down than that because we were so close to the water's edge I thought we might have been able to make a nice little sort of watery lake but it's the other way of doing that um, which is using the texture so we have dirty water <laughs> Get the bush down. Is that strength so? Yeah. Put little ponds in here. We're going up on the slope there a little bit. I don't know if you saw it on the train ride very well, but um, there was a bit of texture on a slope. A bit of the water texture, and it looks like it's sort of going uphill a little bit. Well, it was on the other one. Yeah, it is on that one a little bit. I can see the thing underneath it. Um, oops, that's a bit too thick. <laughs> the only thing with this corn, if you reduce the density of it, it looks a little bit, looks a little bit odd. Um, we've got a removal tool, have we? At the beginning, yeah. Oh, there you go. Let's just bring that back a little bit because it's just a little bit odd. Same with this one, it's going uphill a little bit. Now then, in the assets, we have got... Um, did see water plants. Somewhere. Let's try to remember where I saw them now. Um, obviously not in the trains. <laughs> let's try to unclick it. Um, let's just have a quick look through here. Somewhere in here, we, I had a selection of plants that went in the water. Back to the scrolling through loads of mods again. Were you illa? Get that at some point. Plants. Not mixed trees. Wasn't the forester. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't remember where I saw them now. There definitely was some. Swim pool. No, I can't find them. Um. No, they're not under rocks, obviously. Makes me worry clicking on things with no symbols. <laughs> Before we do that, let's go paint some paths in because I don't have paths. And we don't want scree. That's gravel. It was quite small. Defined. We've got tiles. Maybe put some tiles around the church. Um. Why well, don't you a square edge? <laughs> Steep sides, no, yes, slope threshold, I don't know what that does. Um, into a sort 
got a nice square around me. No church. I don't have any gravestones. That'll come soon, hopefully. I've got down here like this. Nice and straight. with a mouse that's not very not very accurate it tends to twitch with it every now and again. Right, let's what we got here? Gravel, gravel, what kind of gravel are you? Let's have a a round brush. It's not about gravel actually. It's this one. A bit too light. That's definitely got more of a footpath feel to it. Got grass gravel. Maybe do that along the edges. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Um I've lost my gravel now. That no, this one. Uh, right, what I was thinking of doing is having a little sort of path going around. Around the edge, like this, somewhere. Fortunately, nobody's going to be walking along these. I did actually put a post up requesting if somebody could make a footpath on Steam. <laughs> I might as well ask. I did ask nicely. <laughs> fences along the edge. I wonder if it's going to make it easier to line them up. Um, let's try it and see. I'm just not sure if it deletes the fences if you delete the track. Let's see. Um, only thing I'm thinking. Um, assets not in train. Um, 
we said we said put a proper organised category menu in rather than letting people have their own categories because it's it, it just ends up being far too much. You end up with stuff all over the place. Right, um Looks like quite a good fence. We've got that one with a bit of brick on it. Um, stone wall, definitely not a glass wall. That's too high. I think maybe that one with a bit of brick on it. No, because I'm coming downhill on this one. Yeah, the only thing is as well. You can't adjust the height. But it's a bit too low. I minded seeing some of that brick wall on it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it without the tracks, I think. I don't want to see too much of the brick wall, but See how well I can get this lined up. Um, thinking, do we want? I don't think I've got any gates, but and, uh, we can pretend. <laughs> Downhill, so I do want to sort of not bring it too high up. Quite high at the bottom end. It would look better if I'd have done maybe shorter sections of that. Here all day at that rate, though. Right, let's pop a gate in there. It tends to stay at that height. Well, it does stay at that height. <laughs> no, it's not what I wanted. What do I want to do? I want to press that one. <laughs> right, what I was thinking there is we've got the these, so if I was to use these and uh, sink them into the ground a little bit, we can pretend the gates. Oops, no, wrong one. <laughs> Missed the M. There, so make sure, yeah. So make sure that's smooth. I'm just gonna mess with my walls. I'm definitely not gonna be able to place a city centre down here. <laughs> This one should be reasonably flat. I 
Do we look like we're going at a bit of an angle with the road there? It appears so. Yeah, that looks straighter. Why do I keep clicking the wrong things? <laughs> um. Oh, do one. Could maybe put an angled bit in there. I could have it look. No, I'll have it a little bit. A little bit further back off the road, and then we can put a few trees on it, bushes and stuff. details but I don't want it to look obviously really bad <laughs> so I'm planning on doing some nice flyovers on this later on once we've got everything up and running um, right I'm gonna go and finish the rest of the fence off in a bit well that's weird all day um, with them. smaller rocks in there and um, wrong button. <laughs> still, still really getting used to where the buttons are and everything. And sandstone. Mix rocks. Let's do do one two. doesn't seem to be doing much. <laughs> okay, I'll put me in myself then. Oh no, it's just not letting me put them in anyway. Now you let me... See, sometimes when you put stuff in and then bulldoze it, it won't let you put... I've noticed that with trees and stuff, it won't let me put things back. and get you at these in around here. Rocks in the water. Uh, some reeds. Close tulip fern. What do the reeds look like? Ah, nice. No, I'll <laughs> say. Oh, we can brush, brush a few in. I know these are water plants, but I definitely saw other plants that. Do you know where it might have been actually? Water plants, right, yeah, the fur decorating on top of water. Um, 
well, along your river river edges. The only thing is, is this sink. Sea rose, flowers. Tulips. We've got tulips in the other one. Grass reeded. Pretty much the same as what we've got anyway. Um, let's go and stick a few. We've got here. Azaleas. Oh, I can't get any. I need to get any bushes in there. Doesn't seem to want to let me place stuff for some reason. It's deep side. Yes. Randomize rotation. Skip collision. Try skip collision. Only seems to want to let me do stuff in certain places. Let's get rid of the box. I don't like them there. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Press the wrong button again. <laughs> All right, Hazel, 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 where are you? <laughs> nope, not having none of that. What am I doing wrong? Rush size? Oh, let me place a few things here and there. Let's, um, let's get a few flowers. Now these will go in. Different colours we have, yeah, nice. I'll make a lot of flowers around the edges, just a few tulips in as well, here and there. Not sure what colours they are, but we'll have a look. <laughs> um, ferns. Ferns around the tree where it's a bit shady. Same over here, just a quick tree in there. It's got some tulips as well. Uh, okay, so we want to go. Benches. I haven't got any bins, I don't think. <laughs> Little benches overlooking the pond. bench and a fence at the moment I think. Don't need any buses or anything. <laughs> Only signposts in here. No. That's a cool sort of floral area. Right, let's um let's get a bit of tree gun. Up. Are you brushing on the road? You are. Damn it. Oh, wow, that is skip collisions on. Let's try that again. Oh, yeah, I've got a fountain, I think. Get rid of you, get rid of you, you. 
get off my path. No, that's just a shadow. Right, uh well, it's gonna stick in here a bit sort of grass. What's grass to what I was expecting? Um Paint tools, that's what. Oh, corn. A bit of darker grass. Yeah, over my path again. Um, got to mix it up with a bit of sort of forest ground in there. Just want to bulldoze that. Get that out of the way. Um, just want to put my path back in. Some of the textures paint over one another, but some won't paint back over the top of the other one again. I've just removed that. Hundred percent strand. Can't seem to remove this bit here. Travel path. <laughs> So we have a nice little pretty church, look at that. <laughs> little pond. Flowers around it, some reeds. That's nice. Do we have a fountain? Let me see if I can find the fountain. Um, assets. Right, it's definitely not in there, not in there, not in, might be in here. Nope. going to end up being in with something else I should imagine. I definitely saw a fountain somewhere. There is a fountain somewhere in here. I'm going to have to go and have a look for it for the next episode, I think. Um, and I'm going to go 
I'm going to go finish off this fence around here. Um, maybe decorate up a little bit around here. I'll probably, I'll probably do a bit more faffing about with a few textures. Um, maybe put a wall around this bit as well. We'll have a look. So we've got a nice little church. <laughs> Nice little start, nice little park area with some paths around. Um, shame we can't have any people walking around them, but that will come later. Um, you cut that path off completely. I'll fix that hopefully. Um, yeah, this, this brick texture is it's a little bit too orange. A bit too orangey for me. Quite look natural. The, the colours, the colours they use in this game, is just not natural at all. Um, yeah, so I'll go and put a few more trees in here. I think I'm going to decorate up around the station a little bit as well, um, around the front. I definitely want to make a sort of car park area. Um, I just think we just paint that with gravel and uh, just paint that with concrete and what we got here, gravel. Asphalt. So, so wheat ballast. Let's have a look at a couple of these. Um, oh. I might go and put little bits of grass in around the edge and stuff, but we have got some we've got some cars. No oh, they're bikes. Why is there only bikes under the cars? Where are the cars? Why are they not under cars? <laughs> On the train, Dolly. No. Oh, come on, put things in order, please. No, it's kind of proper sort of idea of where things are, not just random stuff under random. I can't find cars in these sub menus. Unless they're down the end of this. No. Oh. There they are. Right, they're under that one. Well, that was a bit awkward. Right, so let's have a look. We're going to be in, we're in 1965, so we want some old cars. Are these automatically coloured or just all the same colour? Nee. Yeah. Some different colours. Oh, Cadillac. Uh, looks like we've got all American ones and everything in here. A couple of golfs. A uh, Trabant. Yeah, we can have a couple of trabants. Yeah, I am just parking <laughs> all over the place. Tatra? Yeah, what's up here? Why are the lights on the cars when they're parked? Oh, a camper van. Gotta have a camper van. Oh, we've got Opal Cadets. A couple of them. It's probably a bit early for them, but. Uh, Gouch? Oh no. no. I thought it was a. <laughs> a proper Gouch. Um, Corolla? Were Corollas really out in. 65, I don't think so. Mm. 
Where do you, do you do Ford F series? That's a American truck. Oh, somebody's got a classic car in there. Very posh. Gaz Volger. A couple of them in as well. Right, so I was thinking maybe putting a few fence bits on there as well. Um, but like a. I thought they were floating then. It just looked like they were floating then for a second. Um, yeah, I was thinking of going and put a few sort of grassy bits around the edge. Interesting, the soft brush makes it go sort of square rather than round. Yeah, that's, that was what, what I had intended. The grass and the back. Oh, a bit of dark green grass as well. Oops. <laughs> Flip with that then. Here all night doing this. A <laughs> uh, bit of brown grass, yeah. A bit of that in there as well. A bit of dead stuff around the edge. Now then, can we get any bushes in there? Got anything? Right, we don't want apple trees and things. The hazel. Whoa, wrong button. Couple of little. Yeah, they don't look right though. Too big. That's reeds, no, wheat, no, flowers, ferns, no, not really. Um, yeah, I don't want to use that forester on there. So I'll just block everything in. Right, so we have a little bit of an overgrown car park. All the cars have got the lights on for some strange unbeknown reason. <laughs> Drive-in movie! <laughs> I'm going to sit and watch the trains pulling in. Um, right, we've got a little church. Well, this is how I mean to plan to go on. We've also got an hour and a half long episode by the looks of it. <laughs> um, which wasn't intentional. Um, wondering if I pull that road off that other side. That'll make that junction a little bit nicer. Doesn't appear so. Weird. <laughs> um, yeah, we're definitely going to need bus stop up here. If I can get one. Ah, interesting. Okay. Now I've elongated bus stations. I don't know if you could before. Never actually spotted that. Oh, yeah. It's kind of nice. <laughs> oh, achievements are going to be popping up left, right and centre as well, by the way. The reason being is because when I played it on the preview key that the dev sent me, I had already pre-purchased the game on this account. Um, 
so it wouldn't let me put the key in. Look at this. This is gorgeous. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, it wouldn't let me put the key in, so I had to go and open a second account so that I could play it. Um, so I've got I've got two keys on two accounts. So the the pre release one that I played was on a second account which I don't intend on using. Um, in fact I might, I might even just go and delete that account now because I don't need it. Um, I'll keep it there as backup just in case. Um, but yeah I'm back on my main account now so this is the version that I actually paid for rather than the, the free key that the dev sent me. I don't know how long that was valid for anyway, I, I think it might have been, it probably expired by now or something. Um, gate's a bit golden. Yeah, that's a good start, I'm quite happy with that, it looks quite nice. So, probably going to take me a while to get everything done the way I want to get it done. Um, but yeah. If I'd have done that on Transport Fever 1, I'd have probably had to do a time lapse and spend about two or three hours on it. <laughs> and it wouldn't have looked anywhere near as nice as that. That looks, I like that little pond. The little pond by the church is so, so nice, so tranquil. I want to go and sit down there. <laughs> Let's go and have a rest. Right, I'm going to call it the end of the episode. Right, I shall be back really soon with another one. Uh, workers and Resources will be back soon at some point as well. Uh, probably after the next update though because I'm really waiting on stuff uh, to get to come out I want to I don't just want to keep doing more of the same I've got and I want to get some more mods made as well because I've got a, I've got a plan in mind um, that water looks a little odd from up here it's ripply but um, yeah not a bad start right I'm going to call it the end of the episode. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to leave us a like down there if you did. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you want to see more of this. And we're going to go full decorate, full, fully decorated on this one. I'm going to keep just keep decorating and decorating and decorating. See how far we can get with it. Right. I shall see you really soon. Bye. <laughs>